it's Tina the Scrap and Rabbit and I have a quick project share for you today but first of all I'd like to wish everybody a happy Memorial Day especially to the men and women and animals who serve our country I am from a military family and I'm so so very grateful for all that they do to help keep our country safe so big shout out to the military happy Memorial Day to all those who are serving present and past Okay, so I have a couple projects on the Jaded Blossom blog today because it's my turn to post. And I am featuring this Tickle Pink set, which is one of my most favorites because how can it not be? Look at that cutie patootie flamingo. I am just in love with her. So I made a couple cards, so let me go ahead and share them with you. And they're basically the same design, but when I was coming up with what I wanted to do, I couldn't decide if I wanted to do the black and white or the pink and white, and so I just decided to do both because it never hurts to have extra cards when you're crafting. <clears throat> and so I colored up this cutie patootie flamingo a few times, and I used the card mat dies for the cut the stitch to cut around the edge and I also used this one right here for the sentiment tickled pink that you are my friend and I did stamp and emboss the sentiment and I also used the stitched circle dies for the little background just to make her pop out a little bit more I thought that she looked better with the white background on top of the stripes and so I added that for the flowers and the leaves, I did cut these out with vellum, <clears throat> so I'm not sure if you can tell. And I did two layers of the pink and then one layer of this peachy color for the center. And I did use the tropical flower dies for that, as well as for the leaf. This is my favorite leaf of all of the leaf dies that I have. I just think that it just adds so much. I just love the way that it, look, that it looks. And I did use my new Nouveau Crystal Drops. I've never used them before, and so I used the gold for the center there. And I was surprised at how quickly it dried. I wasn't sure if it was gonna be like stickles and take 10 years to dry, but sure enough, it went on there and it is nice and dry. It's, it worked out perfectly. I did use my sparkle pen to add that extra sparkle on her and I did also embellish with these clear uh, translucent uh, sequins and so these are my cards and they're their top opening cards so these are the two cards that I came up with and then I also made a tag I found these really really cute memo pads this jumbo fun pad. <laughs> Isn't that so cute? I found that at Marshall's when I was out and about the other day and so I created a little tag to go with this. I have some friends who really like flamingos and so I thought this might be a fun little extra thing to give. This tag here I used my treat tag dies from Jada Blossom and I just decided to go with the printed paper because I bought this stack at Michael's and it was on sale and the images are just so so cute and so I thought you know what I'm gonna just feature the image on the paper and embellish with it and so that's not something that I normally do but I thought that paper was so darn cute and I love this tag the treat tag die it just works wonderfully with the shape and the size and then I did stamp and emboss this sentiment with the onto the mini tag dies too and I used this cut right here and I did the same flowers and leaves as I did for my card and then did use the little nouveau drops in the center for that as well I also used the foil paper the gold the gold set that I found on sale as well as well for the background and so I thought that the gold really pops with the with the um, flamingo and then the flowers and then I curled the tips that's why the flowers are popping up a little bit I just took a little paintbrush just one of my little paint brushes and then I just kind of folded the ends out so that they pop up a little bit for that little extra dimension and so I thought that that turned out pretty cute 
So I hope you like that. And that is it. That is my project share for today. And so here they are. I hope you enjoyed my video. Thank you all so much for watching. I will be uh, finishing up the video with the announcement for the pineapple clip winner. And that will be, I believe, hopefully tomorrow. Okay, you guys, have a great day. Thanks again. Until next time, bye-bye.